over at 100.9 The Creek. There we go. Look at that. It's recording. Charles <laughs> Davis, Tony Dillon here. It is now time for our, some of our favorite people in the building, The Make and Mayhem. Alex Von Coidel, the voice. Alex Von Coidel. Of The Make and Mayhem. And, and he brought along one of your favorite players, Tony, to talk about. Yeah, actually, um, I've been looking forward to having you in the studio, Nick. Um, i got to tell you straight up, last few months, I've really enjoyed watching you play. Thank you. Nick Minerva it. from the uh, Making Mayhem, and I got your name right. Yeah, yeah. correct. <laughs> I, I was wondering if it was Minerva, Minerva, I wasn't Minerva sure, but I had it right. Mm-hmm. I had yeah. it right. Tell us, yes. about, uh, tell us about yourself, Nick. Where are you from? I'm from uh, Monroe, New Jersey, central New Jersey, about 45 minutes from New York City, about an hour from Philadelphia, so pretty much dead smack in the middle. Born and raised. There you go. And if I had to venture a guess, you started skating somewhere around the age of three or four? Uh, five. Mm. Five. Oh, you were yeah. a late, Close enough, you were a late bloomer, man. Yeah, I was. Yeah. I was. <laughs> Tell us about your, uh, your, your hockey career. Uh, I started roller hockey at five. Uh, I started playing ice hockey at six. From there, I... Because think, wheels would no longer... You weren't cool with that anymore. It's like, no, nah, I won't. I want skates for real. Now. Yeah, get on the ice. Exactly. Well, the wheels didn't do it all. Uh, uh, fell in love with ice hockey itself. Played roller hockey till I was about 13, 14, pretty competitively. Kind of teethered off from there. And from there on, I've been playing hockey since, ice hockey since. Excellent. How <laughs> since ice been, hockey. <laughs> how long have you been playing for the Mayhem? Just as my first year. First year. Where did yeah. you uh, play before this? Uh, I played D3 for a year. Okay. Um, how old are you? 22. 23 Young guy. now. 23 now. 23 My birthday is a couple days ago. All right. Now. Oh, Happy, birthday, wow. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to oh, you. Would you like Charles to sing to I'm you? I'm not going to do that for you. Love you, but I ain't going to sing to you. He's, yeah, a, he's our I youngest guy. It. He's our youngest player. Youngest player on the team. Man, yeah. I got to tell you, you are. it's really enjoyable to watch you play the game. Thank you. Seriously, Appreciate straight it. up. Um, Ashley and I were sitting there last few games watching, and I was like, man, every time he gets on the ice, it's just he's poetry in motion on the mm, ice. Wow. Man. Wow, wow! To start that on is, wheels, I'll take it. To start Whoa. on wheels, man. I'll take it. Whoa, you that, end up on ice. No, he's a great player, man. For him to put poetry in motion, that's a strong. It, that is, it's a him? strong statement. Yeah, Nick. for sure. Look really at the look on Alex's statement. face. Is like, what the hell am I he, on? You right don't now? talk this way about any of my other guests. No, thank no. you. <laughs> No. He talk, I've known him for years and he'll talk about me like that. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't, you don't ice skate. I don't. Charles. I don't. You don't can't ice skate. I can't. Alex, how are you? I'm all right. I'm pretty good. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. After that glowing response to Nick, everything else you said to us is chopped liver. Yeah. <laughs> Alex, I'm mildly excited you're here. I'm moderately happy to be moderately here. Happy. I'm going to talk to Nick some more if you'd like to give me some coffee, man. <laughs> no, we're going to talk to Alex, okay? Let's talk about this week's games. Uh, you yeah. guys have uh, three games this week? Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. You we're picked right. up a, uh, a Thursday night game here at home. Centerplex, mm-hmm. 735 puck drop. College, it's college night. night. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Eight bucks with a uh, student ID. Not mm-hmm. bad. And then ten dollar regular tickets for everybody ten, else, right? Ten dollar regular tickets, and then ten dollar for college groups, which includes free hats and an experience upgrade. Boom. Oh, very nice. A great deal. Yeah, like you, like we said last time, Wesleyan, Mercer, GCTC. We're talking to you all right the colleges. Now. Defry, yeah. Phoenix, <laughs> Shreya, Online. Phoenix Online. Virginia as long as college. you got an ID, you're in for eight I mean, bucks. Come on, him. Those people do get IDs. They do. Money, so. They do. Yeah. So uh, taking on the. Um, we're taking on the uh, Evansville. Evansville Thunderbolts. Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. Mm. I keep wanting to call them the Evansville Thundercats, mm. but that's wrong. <laughs> it's wrong. It is the Thunderbolts. Uh-huh. Yeah. We don't get the chance to play those teams from the Midwest very often. Yeah. Uh, we just went up there for the, our first time this season, uh, up to Quad City on Friday and Peoria on Saturday. Um, it was a long haul. They actually just got back from the trip last night at like 8 wow. p.m. So I felt bad asking Nick to come on this morning. But, but you, uh, he was but you arrived, man. Yeah, we appreciate right. that. No, yeah, yeah. We Lack appreciate sleep and everything. that dedication. No, appreciate that, bro. <laughs> uh, give me the Friday and Saturday rundown. So we're actually heading out to Huntsville um, okay. to take on the Havoc, who actually just passed us in the standings. So mm-hmm. we're looking to take some of those points back. Yeah, us. that'd be nice. Mm-hmm. So we, uh, we've we played pretty well against them this year. We're 2-1. and one. And uh, our only loss against them came in their building, and it was a hard-fought game. We lost 5-4 uh, back-and-forth battle. So we're looking forward to uh, going back out there and getting some comeuppance against them. And then, uh, But we don't want to overlook Thursday night. I mean, Evansville, yeah, they, they've struggled this year, but they've been turning their season around a little bit. They've had a few wins recently um, against some pretty decent opponents. They just beat Roanoke on the road, so... Um, we don't want to, uh, you know, take them for granted, and we're we're hoping to uh, snap this little skid that we're on on Thursday. Where are we on the uh, injury standpoint? So this past weekend, we got a couple of big pieces back. Um, Jake Trask came back. Um, Justin Levesque came back. Yep. They both got an assist on Friday night, so we're really happy to have them back. And then 
Larry Smith, uh, Nick, I don't know if you can uh, really talk about your fellow D partner, how he's doing. Yeah, he, uh, he's, is, uh, well, considering his lower body injury, he mm-hmm. tried to give it a go this weekend, but it looks like the timetable is next weekend instead. So. Better safe than sorry. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just, but, that yeah. kind of an injury. Especially down the road. I was going to say, yeah, getting close to playoff time, having these injuries come back, uh, having these players come back from injury, is this? does it feel like it's going to be a nice – boost for you guys to have everybody back and being healthy going into playoff time? Oh, 100%, because it just brings us back to kind of like uh, an original roster yeah. started with, and that's kind of the, the guys we kind of went with from the beginning, yeah. so why not end with them? Yeah. A couple of forwards that uh, moved up to the ECHL. We almost got both of them back, but they sort of got picked up last minute, uh, right. claimed off waivers. So Staff Sumalitis and Sam Wilbur, we thought we might get them back, but a couple of uh, teams, one in uh, North Dakota and then one in uh, Virginia, Kind of swooped in last second and picked them up. And so. We don't like North Dakota. <laughs> and I mean, let's uh, you know, let's talk about the reality yeah, of this, South, including South Thursday. Yeah. Seven home games left in the regular season. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's incredibly uh, saddening. It's gonna make me sad. Y'all need to play all year. <laughs> what? Not, Tony, they can't do that. They got no Tony. Uh, that's that's no, rough. Playing hockey is rough, Tony. You can't be beating up on yourself all year. Like Seven that. home games. We have this Thursday. We have next Thursday again. We pick up that weird. Uh, we were saying off the air uh, when you look at this week and next week, two Thursday games. Kind of let you know. Could have been more home games in the latter half of the season. Yeah, for the mayhem. Yeah, no, but sometimes it, it works that way. Right. Second half of the year, we uh, always historically have always done better with you know attendance and, yeah. and getting buzz and stuff. Yeah. But uh, it's just the way it happened. We had a top heavy start to the year. A lot of home games in the first half. Yeah, but pucks and paws is coming up soon, that's a which big is one. always a huge yeah, night. That's a big one. Oh yeah. I gotta ask this question, oh, wow. um, because in between periods, first and second period, you you do the wiener dog race on the ice. And I know that there's a limited amount of time between first and second period, and you got to do that. You got to get the Zamboni running. Do you have a pooper scooper out there? Has it ever happened on the ice? Gosh, I would think so. You I would mean, think it would have to. There, there were what probably seventy dogs. There were a lot of dogs last, last time. Year. I would think that at least one of them would, you know, do its business. Get a little scared and, and have to, you know. <laughs> I nominate Austin, that little kid. Oh, yeah. always skate. He why could be the putting, pooper scooper. Why are we putting it on the I mean, kid? Because Austin is the only one responsible enough to do it, Charles. You know, he just wants to revel in the glory. He doesn't want to do a, a lowly. That's job what I'm saying. But that's a, <laughs> can't make that man do that. <laughs> All right. So Thursday night, seven thirty-five. Uh, the making mayhem will be at the Centerplex, taking on Evansville in a game uh, next Thursday night. Anthony will be your in-game host yep. for this Thursday night's next, game. Next Thursday's college night as well. So same deals apply. And uh, tomorrow night, the Coach Leo Thomas coaches show downstairs, Creek Stage at the Rookery, six thirty. Get there early. Get there early, people. Get, get your seat. some snacks and a drink. Yeah, <laughs> meet some meet Alex Von Coitel, the Coach Leo Thomas, and um, some players. Kind of uh, debating who you're going to bring tomorrow night. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm probably going to go with the goalies. I haven't told them they. Yet, oh, okay. So. Goalies. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, yeah. hold on, Nick. I've heard rumors that that goalies uh, number one have the weirdest pregame rituals. Oh, they're just the weirdest people in general. <laughs> 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 okay. I wouldn't go say that, but that was what I was getting at. Yeah, so thank you for saying that no, for me. No problem. <laughs> so could get weird up in the rookery tomorrow night mm. down to Creek Stage. Well, it all it yeah, it will be. <laughs> well, Nick, thanks for coming in this morning. Yeah, I appreciate it. You. Got in late last night and still made it, no Alex. Worries. Reasonably good to see you. Uh, likewise, <laughs> we gotta get we gotta get Nick a, a shirt, a couple yeah. shirts, so we'll get him. Get we got hooked up, man. Oh no problem. We got Thank up. you. Appreciate it. All right, here's some Paul Thorne. I don't like half the folks I love on wow. the creek.